Blog Talk Radio. One and all, to another episode of Magic Universe with Sharona. And I am your radio host and magic mama, Sharona Rapsick. I am an angel whisperer, a tarot Reiki master, and an angel Reiki master, and a life coach and teacher of the magical and intuitive arts. And I am coming to you live from the Big Apple, New York City, where uh, we are into the presidential election season, as I'm sure it's for all of you listening in in the United States. And early voting has already begun. In fact, I voted an early vote yesterday. So for all of you out there, don't forget to vote. And I am so happy that you are joining me today. Now, this little radio show is all about awakening and embracing your inner personal power and self-confidence and creating magic and miracles in all areas of your life by using a little bit of angel guidance and the divine and loving conscious energy of the magic universe that we are all each a part of. So, are you ready to live your magic and really be who you really are? then I invite you to join me during this hour. And I'm going to invite you to step into your power and awaken your magic. This show is brought to you by the Psychic Talk Radio Network, the one and only radio network with spirit and psychic you. So please visit www psychictalk.net to learn more about our upcoming shows, our hosts, and as well as our online courses that are offered at Psychic U. You can even check out my certified angel Reiki course there. You can just go to psychictalk.net forward slash angel Reiki and you can learn all about the course that I actually offer there. This show is also brought to you by the IAAP. Now, that's the International Association of Angel Practitioners, the very first worldwide organization that was formed to educate, celebrate, and support spiritual practitioners and entrepreneurs around the world. Please visit www.angelpractitioners.com to learn more. And finally, today's episode is also being sponsored by the ARE of New York City, a nonprofit organization formed by a core group of service-oriented volunteers all inspired by the work of America's psychic, Edgar Casey. To learn more, go to www.edgarcaseynyc.org. Now remember, that's Edgar Casey with the Casey spelled C-A-Y-C-E, followed by N-Y-C. Okay, Magic Universe with Sharona is a live call-in radio show. 
And here we talk about such topics as angels, crystals, energy healing, tarot and oracle cards, astrology, synchronicity, the laws of attraction, how to raise your energy so that you can have good, good vibrations, and much, much more. Magic Universe is on the air live, always on the second and fourth Sunday of each and every month. Now, you can listen to our show on the World Wide Web at PsychicTalk.net, live on your Internet browser. And you can also listen in on your phone, too, by simply calling it, which reminds me to tell you that this is a live call-in show. So if you would like a free mini tarot reading, an angel message, or maybe a little angel healing Reiki, or just if you want to ask a question, or maybe you want to add your comments to today's topic, or even just to say hello, the number to call is 714-816-4628. Once again, that is 714-816-4628. Now, that's to listen, but... If you want to uh, be live and get your call live on the air, afterwards you need to press the number one on your phone keypad because this will log us on the switchboard that you want us to take your call. Now, we do take the calls in the order that they are received. So remember, once you get in, don't hang up because you will lose your spot in the phone line. Also, during our live shows, we also invite our listeners to join us in the chat room. So what you want to do is go to psychictalk.net forward slash chat, and we will be checking in to see who is in our chat room, and also you can meet wonderful people in that room, too. Okay. Let me tell you a little bit about today's show. Um, This is a show that we're doing by popular demand. So today we have open lines. So if you would like some angel uh, Reiki for some healing or personal power, uh, or if you would like a mini tarot reading, or if you just want to say hi and be live on the air, remember, you can call in at 714-816-4628. But remember, as I said before, you need to press the number one on your phone keypad so that I know that you're not just listening and that you want me to pick up your call. Okay, let's begin. Are you ready? Okay, so... What I usually do before I start taking calls is I draw one card to learn the energy of today and the coming week. But a lot of people have been emailing me because um, they want to know about what energy is surrounding uh, the presidential election that is coming up coming up so quickly. So um, what I decided to do is I am going to uh, do draw five cards and do a five-card spread, and I am not going to uh, – who is going to win, but I'm just going to show you and give you the energy of what I see that's happening in our nation the United States, and how that is affecting what we will be seeing coming forth energy-wise. Okay. And I will be explaining the cards that I'm getting because I know a lot of you are tarot readers. So um, together, um, 
I will allow you to interpret uh, what is coming up in the cards. Okay, so we are doing what is known as a five-card spread, which is known as a, um, a horseshoe spread. Okay, so this is what I see in the influences that are in the past, what the energy I see currently right now, and the energies that I see in the coming two weeks. Okay. So the first card is a card that is the energy of the past. And this card is the Eight of Swords. Now, classically, in this card, you see the symbols and the picture of someone who is blindfolded and who is trapped and is in a situation uh, that is not empowering them. And they feel all bogged down. And what this card is encouraging it, this person to do is to take off the blindfolds, but also take off the bindings and realize that this situation that they feel that they're bogged down in, that they have control, they're not trapped. So what it's saying is that all important thing that we, there's this feeling of we need to stop feeling helpless and not be afraid to go forth and take action and start taking responsibility for who we are. And since this is a reading for the United States, it's about knowing that uh, we need to take responsibility for where we are and not um, not feel that we are helpless. And I also see in the past, one reason that we have felt helpless, there is a card which is a really one of the saddest cards in the deck, and that is the Three of Swords. Now, in the Three of Swords, it's a card of great pain and sadness and also, you know, feeling hurt and a lot of pain. And the reason that we need to take action is there is an energy of great pain and great sadness. And we know that this is not something that we want and, and something that uh, we need to uh, let go of. So, you know, classically in this card, there's a heart and, you know, it's being injured uh, by three swords. That's why it's called the three of swords. And what the card is saying is we need to grow from this and, you know, pull those swords out and, you know, take control of this pain. So that kind of goes to the first card, the Eight of Swords, about um, knowing that um, we need to take action. Okay, the third card that comes up in the spread that I'm doing is the Three of Wands. Now, classically in this card, um, it's a picture of someone who has made plans, maybe they're, they've sent forth messages and plans. Um, one interpretation is waiting for your ship to come in. And you see a merchant, he's looking out at, in the harbor. So this to me really is accurate for this moment in time because I almost see this that these messages, these plans that we are sending forth is actually the voting that is taking place now. 
uh, in this country, that um, there is this planning for the next four years, and we want to grow from the past uh, things that have happened, and um, we are waiting in this moment in time. This is the energy for today. We, um, we are waiting for these messages, these prayers, whatever way that we have sent forward. We're waiting for an answer. Okay, so now we move into the energy of the outcome of what's going to be uh, happening in, as a result of these prayers and these thoughts that we have sent forth. And the card that I pulled is the Nine of Cups. Now, for those of you who um, do read tarot, the Nine of Cups is a card about having your wishes coming true and your dreams becoming a reality. It's all about a magical time when you, what you wish for comes true. And it's about good fortune and faith in the universe that all will be well. So that sounds like a good card to get as far as what is going to happen from your actions that you're taking, uh, that everyone's taking uh, in this election that is going on right now. Okay, the final card, which is the fifth card, is a very interesting card. And there's different ways that it can be interpreted. But the way that I interpret it, by the way, the card is the Ten of Swords. And this card is about an ending. It's about the end of a situation. And uh, the ending of things that um, made us sad. And it's an ending that brings us relief because in the card you see that something is ending and a new dawn is coming up. And um, an opportunity uh, for happiness. And, you know, the end of something that um, it's all over and um, a weight off of our shoulders. So this is the reading that I get for the energy for the, the next two weeks. And it's a reading that is for the United States of America and our presidential election, which is going on right now because early voting has actually started and vote in uh, voting as well as voting by mail. So the cards are saying that we are not powerless. Our vote is important and the universe is smiling at us and saying that uh, we can be and we can create the big changes that we want. And it's interesting, they're all what is known as minor arcana cards. There's no major arcana cards. So when I see this, this means that this is the change that we are going to see and create is being done by us, by mortal people. It's not done by source. It's not being done by something outside of us. We are the agents that will uh, create what we want to see and if we do that for the vast majority of us it will be the choice that we choose okay I always want to see if there is an archangel who is stepping forth and uh, lending their energy to the next two weeks and the angel that is stepping forth 
is Archangel Michael, one of the most famous of all the archangels. And and the Archangel Michael is all about protection, healing, and support, and also about helping us achieve what we want to achieve. And I'm listening to what Archangel Michael is whispering in my ear, and what he's saying is, in these two weeks, we need to be crystal clear about what we want, okay? We need to focus on what we want, and in particularly in this very important moment in time. Focus upon what we want and believe and know that what we focus on and what we set our intention on can become reality. Okay, (laughs) so that is the energy that I see for these next two weeks, which are very important, which are a very important two weeks, and there's a lot that's going to be happening. So everyone, hold on, focus on what you want, believe that it can come true. And don't forget to vote. Okay, folks, um, I am going to start taking some phone calls. And let me see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go go to the first caller. Let's see. I look to see who has their hand up. So I am going to caller who's calling from... Area code nine one seven. Caller from area code nine one seven. What is your name and uh, where are you calling from? Hello. Hi, my name is, yes. Hi. My name is Ashiel, and I'm calling from Hi, New York. Hi, Ashiel. I thought that was a New York number. So yeah. we're uh, we are here. Uh, together uh, in the big city. Okay. Do you have a question or is there something you want to maybe add to, um, you know, the reading that I just did? Uh, Um, You are live and on the air. I have a question. Okay. Uh, um, It's regarding my love life. Uh, I'm just going to see if we see any changes in terms of me dating somebody before the end of the year. I'm single right now. Okay. You're single right now, and you're looking uh, for a love relationship. Yes. Okay. And you want to want to know when that's going to happen, correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to um, grab my cards and just kind of see uh, what comes up. I'm just grabbing another deck to read with because the other deck, you know, I put into that one the energy, you know, the group energy. So this is a a reading that is uh, just for you. Okay, what I'm seeing is there, um, there's, I see that there are some loving relationships that you aren't aware of that are out there for you, okay? You just have to kind of, you know, open up your heart and, you know, take a look around. Um, I do, I do see, um, I do see that there are opportunities that are uh, definitely out there. Um, I do see if if you've been feeling lonely and, you know, feeling, oh, my goodness, um, I'm all alone or, 
you know, why isn't, um, you know, why isn't, you know, this happening in my life, I do see that there's going to be change there. And I'm actually seeing that, um, that there are opportunities that are available for you. Now, what I'm also seeing is in regard to this is, um, you know, what, what you need to do to make this happen quicker. And um, are you, are you, you know, are you out there? Um, you know, a great way that people are getting together um, is by, you know, using social media. So I'm getting a lot of what I'm seeing is uh, the King of Swords. And I'm seeing that's about communication and, you know, putting out there, you know, that you, you know, what you're looking for. Are you, what what exactly are you doing to um, to find um, uh, this relationship? Um, I would just, you know, just right now, because of what we're going through, I just go to the gym right now and I try to, you know, mm-hmm. uh, spend my time as, outside as much as possible because I, I'm, I'm self-employed. So I'm always out trying to be outside mm-hmm. as much as possible. But uh, social media, I haven't done. I, I mean, I did an online dating years, but like a long time ago. I didn't really work out back then. Recently, I haven't tried social media. Yeah, it's like, because I'm getting a thing, you know, I'm getting this whole thing about, you know, new ways of communicating. Now, um, it doesn't have to nece- What I'm getting is it doesn't necessarily have to be a dedicated um, dating service, but, you know, maybe, I mean, there are a lot of like, uh, like meetup groups that were, okay. you know, if you have, if you're interested in something, you can look into uh, meetup groups. And of course, everyone's meeting online now. Very few people are meeting in person. And, you know, just being open to, you know, meeting people that way. Um because, you know, there are a lot of opportunities around you. So not only is it, you know, not only am I getting that, um, you know, that it's, you know, definitely before the end of the year, but I see you kind of, you know, communicating uh, with people. But um, okay. you, you have to make that effort, you know, unless you're looking to have a date with the, uh, someone from who's going to bring your Amazon package, or your, you know, your UPS person. It's saying that you have to, you have to, you know, you have to do the work too. I mean, they're not going to, you know, this person isn't just going to drop out of the sky. It's saying you have to um, make the effort. And I'm also getting, you know, what also came up before in the previous reading. Remember I talked about Archangel Michael? And Archangel Michael is also... Uh, whispering in my ear, and he's all up saying this whole thing about you have to communicate. You know, you have to speak up. So, you sound like uh, you're a wonderful person, and you need to. I mean, someone would be very happy uh, to have you. Uh, you know, in their life, and um, you know what? Also, Archangel Michael is saying is. Um, you um you need to you know step into your power you know remember who you are and um he's saying oh you're real you have so many qualities that someone will really love you for and uh wow. to know that wow. and it's funny like I'm- yeah archangel michael can be kind of funny and he's like saying he's showing me um you standing in front of a mirror and saying to yourself you know i am i am the most wonderful person in the world and you need to say that to yourself. Okay. You have to, you know, you know. Do you do that? Do you do? Uh, do you tell yourself every day how wonderful you are? I don't. Say, uh, but I do know that I'm wonderful. I do know that I have the qualities. I do know that I'm attractive. I just, you know, it hasn't been, um, you know. I mean, yeah. I to be honest well, with you. It? It's saying you're really time. attractive, but they're saying you're really you have a lot to offer on the inside. Yes. And uh, I can draw Michael. I talk to him every day. So it's funny that he came through. Yeah, he's 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 one of my favorite. He's my boy. I love Michael, and he's he's very much out there. 
So, um, yep, talk to him and um, there and start, you know, start communicating. To, Online. And, yeah. and I see you finding someone. I see you finding someone very, very, very soon. I do hope that helps. Did that help? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That was very helpful, especially when you talk about uh, Andrew Michael. That's even, you know, you know so personal <laughs> to me because I talk to him every day. And um, I'm going to try to the, do the online thing, which is, you know, what people have to do nowadays anyway. So. Yeah, well, it does work. I mean, this is, you know, it really – I know a lot of people who have uh, met you know, the love of their life on uh, on the Internet. So it's a wonderful tool. So uh, call in and let me know, uh, you know, on sure. future shows. Thank okay, so well, thank you. Thank you for calling in. I'm going to put you back so you can listen. Okay, now let me see. Um, I am going to uh, – Oh, my goodness, we're getting a lot of callers uh, starting to call in. This is really good. Okay, I am going to go right now um, to area code 760. Hello, caller. What is your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Sharon. Hello. Uh, this is Jeanette. And I'm- Hello. Hi. Can you hear me? Hi. I can hear you loud and clear. Very good. Very How good. are you? I, I'm well, Sharona. Thank you for taking my call, and I'm so glad that uh, Archangel Michael is with us. That's awesome. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 Um, I think so there's we, a little do you bit have of a question. Delay, so forgive me. Yes. Yes. Uh, my question is about true love coming into me. So I am going to continue with the theme of the first caller. Okay, a love relationship. So let's see. You know, we need to call in addition to Archangel Michael. We need to call an Archangel Raphael because Raphael is he's he's really good for. Uh, the heart, and also there is another archangel by the name of Shamuel, and mm-hmm. he's known for helping you find things. So, you know, like when I can't find my glasses, I go, Archangel Shamuel, where did I put my glasses? Of course, they usually end up there on top of my head, but, you know, he helps me find things, and um, but he's also really good at helping you find the love of your life. So if our previous mm. caller is still listening in, that's another one, uh, another angel that we can call upon. So let me see what the cards are saying. Okay. These are some good cards. The first card that I got is the lovers. And the lovers, when you're... When you're um, when you're talking about love, that's a really good card that comes up. But what I'm seeing is, you know, for the middle card, you know, what your energy is right now, what could possibly uh, be blocking um, blocking you is you um, you you know you're being very protective and very guarded and. With your heart, that's always a good thing to do. You don't want to, you don't, you don't want to get hurt necessarily. And but what it's saying is, you have to kind of, you know, perhaps, um, you know, let, um, you know, just kind of relax a little bit and open your heart. And then I do definitely see um, someone uh, coming into. Uh, your life, a new, you know, a new experience, um, you know, where, um, you know, um, someone will come into your life and be the person that uh, you're looking for, someone who is very loving like you. And like the previous caller, what I'm seeing that that's crossing uh, what might be a possible obstacle is 
a card, which is the um, the page of swords, and um, it's also a, can be a messenger too that you're getting a message. But um, you know, um, I just see um, once again this whole thing. You know, put yourself out there. Um, you know that social media, you know, th- is is a, you know a great way of meeting people. And um, you know, right now because we're not necessarily able to go to a club, but um, you know, it certainly increases the way that you we can go about meeting people. But I definitely uh, see that um, there is is love and that's coming up for uh, for you. And if you were in any way that your heart has been closed down because um, you've been hurt, you want to kind of, you know, relax that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of angel Reiki for you and send send you some healing from um, Archangel Raphael, who has an emerald green uh healing energy, and I'm just going to send that to your heart, uh, that your heart be open yet strong, that you always love yourself, and that because of that, you attract to you people that are also uh, loving and helpful to you. And uh, I'm going to also ask that you work with Archangel Shamuel. And as I said, Archangel Shamuel also has a green energy, but it's like a paler green, like a pale green energy. And he is the Archangel that enables you to to find something that you seek. And mm-hmm. he will help you find that person. They're there. Oh, great. Do you do you see them coming in through uh, one of the dating sites that I'm on or uh, in person? Well, yeah. Yeah, I do. I do see it could, it could be through a dating one? site because, remember, I saw the um, the page of, of air or the page mm-hmm. of sword. So it could be mm-hmm. through a dating site. But uh, what I'm finding, because a lot of people do talk to me about this, that it doesn't necessarily have to be a dating service. You know, it could be a social meetup group that meets online. And Mm -hmm. that you could also meet, you know, someone there that shares a common, um, you know, you know, something in in common with you that you like. And um, I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying to see, a little bit more about this person. It could be a person who um, is in communications or someone I'm getting, I'm seeing they could be someone who could be like a lawyer or an advocate. So, you know, anything that you do uh, where it's like, you know, something for social justice or, you know, something like that. You know, this person is someone who's also a, a great desire to to help and create uh, good changes in the world. Make a difference, yeah. That's yeah, awesome. but I do see, I do see that, I do see that opportunity definitely coming up. I hope that helps. Oh, that's great. That's yeah. awesome. Thank you so much. It is. It's wonderful. Yeah, I do see someone. And uh, let me just pull one other card for you. Um, see if I get a message. Yeah, it's, you know, what I'm getting is everything. There is romance around you. And, mm-hmm. um yeah, and I, you know, you know, definitely this online type of thing that will lead to like a phone conversation. So you might meet someone and you you send them over a private uh, email message, and then I see you also talking on the phone. Uh, oh, the angels great. are pointing. Are, are pointing? <laughs> they're actually holding up a uh, cell phone. Cool. 
Well, that's wonderful. That's, yeah. that's always a good sign. That's always a good sign because I usually know whether it's it's going to lead to that or not, and, and I haven't had that in a while. So, yeah, that's mm-hmm. wonderful. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, you got to call in. I'll be on in two weeks and and let me know how it goes. And it's you wonderful betcha. talking with you. Yeah, Thank you. my Thank pleasure. You. All right. You're Bye-bye. welcome. I'm going to put you back so you can listen in. Okay. Let. Oh, my goodness. We are way past the bottom of the hour. So what I'm going to do now is I do want to let you know uh, what's going to be coming up um, on the Psychic Talk Radio Network. And right now, uh, all of our shows are at 11 a.m., Pacific Time, 2 p.m. Eastern, uh, U.S., 7 p.m. London. I have a lot of friends now who are in the U.K., and um, they've been listening in to my show. So that's if you want to listen in live and even call in. And, um, of course, if you can't make the show, everything gets – you can go to psychictalk.net, um, and you'll see all of our shows are all archived so uh you can go in there and uh you know listen to shows that have already happened so um let me just tell you though what's coming up uh next week now um on monday tomorrow october 26 there is the wisdom of the soul show with janice fuch and then on wednesday October 28th, there's just a really wonderful show. It's the Healing and Guidance Hour with my good friend, Catherine Hahn. And uh, she's going to be wrapping up a series uh, that um, she's doing, and it's all about you have the power uh, to change the world. Kind of sounds like what we were talking about earlier. Okay, and remember, uh, two weeks from today, uh, Sunday, November 8th, uh, we have coming up the Magic Universe. We'll be back on Sunday, November the 8th. And people have sent me emails. They want that to also be another open line show because uh, they want to, you know, want to kind of get, find out what the energy is. The, um, the election will have, been, have happened. And, uh, you know, what, you know, the energy is going to be like. So they want to uh, talk about that. Okay, so that will be, uh, you know, uh, on November 8th. I'll be back. Okay, so we have uh, some time to um, take one or two more phone calls. So let me see who has been uh, waiting. And I am going to area code 646. That looks like a familiar number. Hello, caller on 646. What is your name? Hello. Oh, hi. It's me. Hi. Ruthanne. It's it Ruthann. Hi, Ruthann. How are you doing? Are you enjoying the show today? Oh, yes. Yeah. And do you have a question, or do you want to uh, add in your comments to what we've been talking about? Um, I was curious about that um, that other archangel that you mentioned. Okay, um, Archangel Shamuel. Yeah, tell me more. About this one I've never heard of. Right. Okay, so tell me more. Well, <laughs> oh. Oh, he's a great angel, <laughs> I tell you. I mean, I'm always losing stuff. And, you know, when I when I call in for the help of Archangel Samuel, I always find whatever it is that I'm looking for. Like the other day, um, I dropped an earring on the floor, and I thought, well, I think it's gone, you know. And... Um, I just said, Archangel Shamuel, help me. And do you know 
that I immediately found it. Um, and he's also good, as I said, when you're looking when you're looking for love, he can help you find uh, love. And this really kind of cool archangel to know about. Uh, it's Archangel uh, Shamuel. And let me see if I can. Uh, the most common spelling of the name is uh, with a C, C H uh, A U E L. And, uh, you know, he's, he's like the, you know, I don't, you know, in, I live in New York City, so I don't drive, but he's like the, uh, some people call, say that you can use him to help you find a parking space. But I use him in the city if I want to um, get a seat. <laughs> you know, if I'm traveling and I want a seat, I'll call upon Archangel Shamuel. He's also good, too, if you're looking for a career. He will help you as far as finding a job. And, you know, uh, love, but just kind of handy-dandy uh, uh, finding stuff. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. 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 Well, the archangels, I mean, they're really, you know, it's, they're really, um, really fun energies to work with. And, you know, I always encourage people, if they don't do it, you know, to start talking, uh, start talking to the angels. Now, you might think that, you know, that you're talking to yourself, but, you know, some people say the archangels are part of your your intuition. So, um, you know, start talking to them, and if you start talking to them, they start answering back. And uh, it's a really it's a really powerful um, way of changing your life. You know, they say that we we swim literally in an energy of energy, and those energies are the angels and the archangels. So with that said, do you want me to pull some cards for you today? Oh, sure. Do you have a question or you just want a, a general type reading for what your no, energy? I don't, I don't really have a question, any particular question. Just pull some cards and see what happens. How does that okay. sound? Okay, so I'm going to start shuffling. Just going to shuffle three times. And I'm going to, for you, I'm going to cut the cards into three piles. So which pile um, do you want me to uh, pull some cards off of? There's, it's three piles. It's, there's the left side and the right side, and then there's the middle. So where should I pull the okay. cards? Or do you want? Go, which one? The middle. Middle. Okay. 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 So it's a you got for the immediate energy of what's going on was the card that I had pulled earlier today, as far as you know the energy that's going to be happening uh, uh, in in the world as well, especially what's going to be happening in the U.S. And it, the first card you're getting uh, in relation to that, actually it's the middle card, is the Nine of Cups. So something uh, that, um, that you're wishing for, you're going to, your wish is going to come true. And what's interesting is it shows, you know, someone who is, like the craftsman, it's um, the Eight of Pentacles. So if there's something that you are kind of wanting where you're going to be busy working and creating and creating, um, you know, great work, you know, that's going to happen. Are you wishing for something of that nature? You know, like doing some kind of work that um, brings you joy and, and keeps you busy? Well, not necessarily, but yes, I could. 
Yeah. I wasn't actively wishing for that, but. Yeah, that's that, that, that's what's coming up in the future. Yeah, yeah, you know, um, you know, something that brings you great joy, and um, you know, the the card, you know, that we have, that that you know that you're wishing on, we have the Knight of Cups. So, uh, you know, that's all about you know great relationships that um, you're seeking. So. Uh, you know, this thing that it, that you're wishing for that I see happening, uh, that the energy is making it possible is, um, you know, it's something that it's not just work, but it's something, uh, that brings, uh, someone and other people into your life that bring you love and great joy. That sounds very good. <laughs> I think so. I think so. Yeah. And uh yeah. So uh to make it happen in even quicker, uh talk to Archangel Shamuel. And uh you know, you can like uh when the show is over, go and you know, you can always Google that Archangel. It's spelled the most common way that the name is spelled, it's C as in Charlie, H a M U E L Shamuel. Uh, mm-hmm. It's spelled. That's the most common way that it's spelled, you know, in the English uh, language. And uh, yeah, really cool angel to work with. Thank you for calling in, Ruth Ann. Thank you. And um, Thank what I'm going to do is, you're welcome. Thanks. It's always good when you call in, and we love having you here as part of our little uh, Magic Universe tribe. So thanks for joining us. I'm going to put you back in the queue so you can listen in. And I am going to go to – I am going to pick up the call. Uh, That's at area code – Eight zero one. Now, Mike, I'm waiting. Let me get the mic on. Okay, there we go. I got the light on. Hi, caller on area code eight zero one. I kind of know this number. Mm-hmm. Who's this calling in? This is Charlotte. Hi, Charlotte. It's always good. You know, you're part of the family too. So. Uh, you're part of our, our our favorite group here at the Magic Universe. Are you enjoying the show today? Um, I really am. And it's I know I sound like a broken record, but you, the energy energy and your kindness and your how awesome you treat your callers and the information you give them is always just it just leaves you with a good feeling. I mean, it just does. Oh, so, thank you. Yeah, I'm absolutely enjoying the show because, um, you know, I love that you're giving these people some hope and, you know, for their relationships and, you know, whatever else they need, they've got going in their life. And um, your days go a little easier if you've got hope. Don't you agree? Yeah. I, I, I love what I do. You know, I really, yeah. I, I do. I don't do it alone. As I said, I'm, I, I do, I, I'm what I like to call an angel whisperer. So oh. I do, it's not when I read the cards uh, and when I do the show, I feel that the angels do, um, they give me the words to say. So um, I thank them, too. (laughs) I thank them. And, um, you know, but I always tell people we all have the power to do that. And if you start doing it, it really does change your life a lot because you realize that you're not alone. And, Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's just so many. I, I, you know, we were talking earlier about Archangel Shamuel, you know, the one that helps you find things. There's just, you know, there's just so many, 
wonderful ones out there. Like I was working with Metatron. I was like, I was like running, you know, running behind setting up the show. So that's another angel that um, that I always want to introduce people to because he can kind of do help you do the time warp. <laughs> he can make mm-hmm. you go into warp speed if you're running late. So Charlotte, do you want me to pull some cards for you? Uh, what would you, um, you know? I do. What, I'm, I've I've been I've been thinking a lot this week and well actually the last few weeks. And it's about life purpose. And I think I have a block that is stopping me from finding my life's purpose. And I wonder if that could show up in a mini reading or if or if that's gonna take, you know, two or three sessions. <laughs> Well, let's see what pops up in the cards in a mini reading. But uh, sometimes, you know, sometimes a mini reading is all it takes. Yeah, they're powerful. Okay. So what I did, like I did with Ruth Ann, I divided um, the cards into three piles. So we can, um, you, you know, you can pick from the left pile or the right pile or the one in the middle. Uh, also, we can pick one from each pile. And also, what I, um, what I'm, what's coming through is, do you want me to pick from the top of the deck or the bottom of the deck? <laughs> the, the angels are being really chatty. <laughs> um, so you know, it's funny when you gave Ruthanne the choice. I had like super strong left, left, left. But now that you've given me the choice, I'm like, right. Now it's now it's like really heavily pick the right one. Okay. Right okay, right I have the right the ones in my hand. You want it from middle the top? Of the middle. middle. Middle of the pile. You want the middle. Okay. I picked up yep. the middle one. Top of the pile or bottom? No, no. The right the right side, the right deck, the right pile. Okay. But the middle of the right pile. In the middle of the right pile. Okay, I'm going to cut it in half. And it's interesting, that pile was the top, tallest one. Okay, so I cut it in the middle. So I'm going to read from the middle. Ooh, you've got some good things coming up in your card. Okay, right away. Yay. Okay, we're getting the energy. You you have the card. It, um, it's it's the, the for the middle energy. It's the hierophant card, but um, there's different ways that you can read this. But um, I'm getting that the angels are saying that you your life purpose is to be a spiritual mentor. You know, uh, you um, you can help a lot of people, and um, you know, it's saying you know. It's important and and that you you can lead people and it's telling me that you you what you need to do is you need to start surrounding yourself uh with people that are supporting and loving and um that's because you can you can really teach people a lot you are um you're you are a spe- spiritual leader and um it's time for you to to become part of a group or establish a group uh i just see you i just see people coming to you for what you have to offer i would love that and i you know i try to do that but the people that are around me I feel like my words fall on deaf ears, and mm-hmm. and then it gets really frustrating because I'm like, I know, I mean, because I'm not only drawing from life experience, but I'm drawing from, you know, messages that are like, I'm like, whoa, where did that come from? And then I'm like, okay, that came from, you know, your your angels and your spirit people. And then it falls on deaf ears. And and that's why I love being part of this group, even though I don't officially have my own <laughs> my own radio show anymore right now. 
Um, that's why I love being part of you guys so much. Is that well, you, you were know, part. Of, you're part of the Magic Universe group. You know that, and um, yeah. you're definitely a key. I I always, you know, like we're a fan. I'm always looking for the, that caller out there, and I feel that you know you, you know, you're there for me, and I'm there for you, and. Mm-hmm. So it's definitely this group, and what what I'm getting as far as for you to build, you know, you you can build a group too, and you can we can we can put our groups together. <laughs> and yeah. like it, it's so interesting, you know, like it's all this, you know, Archangel Michael energy is just all over the place. I keep seeing, you know, flashes of electric blue, you know, which is. Uh, Michael's colors and you know he is saying like it to earlier for people you know the the key right now is physically you know because of you know what's going on with the social distancing it's hard to you know meet and talk to people that are you know physically present but you know you know meet up groups study groups that's, you know, that's yeah. where we're going to meet our tribe. Yeah. So, um, you know, I'm also getting the, the page of swords, which is messages through the air. So uh, certainly any, you know, I mean, the, the best way to meet people, I mean, there's just so many, you know, really you, you can take courses and, you know, make sure that the course has some kind of, you know, chat room that's attached. Um, there uh there's a really fun group that um, you can, uh, um, you know, I'll, I'll give you a private message after the show you, um, about this group that I've been having a lot of fun with uh, that's strictly online, and it's they don't even mm-hmm. charge anything um, for, you know, the basic thing. But, you know, we're all talking to each other and and, and doing readings and everything. So remind me to... Um, you know, get that information to you about that community. And, um, but yeah, I mean, I think one of the things that you have to do, Charlotte, is you have to, you know, you have to be careful that you don't fall where, you know, into, you know, you know, what, you know, what the angels are saying is you don't want to give in. You have fears like all of us do. You know that mm. things won't work out, and right. uh, you know pr- particularly you know fears around you know things like money and shelter and <laughs> all <of> those things. <laughs> but yes. you know, I'm getting that you don't have to. You know, if you fo- you know you whatever you focus on is what you get more of. So you have to focus on you know this whole thing of of self confidence. And that, you know, you have the power, you know. <laughs> I feel like I'm being uh, Glenda. <laughs> she said, Dorothy, you have the power. You, you know, <laughs> you have the power. And I guess a lot of times that, you know, you think it's the ruby slippers, but you've got the power within, you know. Yeah. And you you have to believe in that. But I do see you, you know, I do see you being a great teacher and a great uh, spiritual leader, and then the the reading ends up with the sun card. So I mean that is just such a cool card, you know. Because wow. I think of you, you know, it's this this joyful person, and they're riding on a horse, and there's sunflowers, and uh, you know, it's just such a joyful, fun card of of like freedom right. and and optimism and and vitality. And, you know, that's what you need to focus on. And you can do it. And also keep calling into the show because, like Ruth Ann, you are now, (laughs) you're becoming like my, uh, what is it, on the different shows where they have, like, someone who is their their co-host and their uh, their band leader, (laughs) Their, their buddy on the show, so... You know yeah. you've got that already. Yeah. Well, so that's what I'm getting. 
Yeah. Well, well that's thank you. Positive, and that's that's actually what I was hoping it was going to say, but it's just I just feel like I'm blocking myself, and it, some days it just gets so frustrating, and I'm being mauled by my dog right now, not like viciously mauled, but prisoner. She's on the phone. She can't. She can't yell at me. So if you hear things <laughs> rustling around, it's I've got a dog trained to sit on my lap, a 45-pound dog trained to sit on my lap. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, like, I mean, part of your, you know, you know, you are, you're, you're really good with animals. You know, you can, um, you know, you can heal and talk to animals, you know, so you're like an animal communicator. What can I say? You, yeah. um you know, you need to do more of that. But, yeah, reach out. You know, the angels are saying definitely reach out. I mean, the it doesn't, you know, your group of people doesn't have to be physically around you. In fact, yeah. you're, you're, you know, they're not, you know. You know, it's, you know, the, the people that are around you, they're not at the, they don't have the same, high vibration you know they we're talking about the people that are that are physically living around you it doesn't doesn't matter because they're they're at a lower you vibrate at such a high vibration charlotte that uh those are the people you need to be surrounding yourself with well i'm yeah i just i just joined a 21 day group on abundance and so it's a Deepak Chopra teachings kind of deal, so I guess I'll have to dig in and actually participate in that. Um, yeah, more. yeah. The person, that's leading, the person that's leading it has energy like you, just the most beautiful, peaceful, kind energy and powerful. Um, I just love her to pieces. And so I'll... She did it once before, and I signed up for it, and then I just kind of went, oh, they're on day 17 already? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, I'm going to give you the name of another group, too, that's really kind of fun to be part of. Um, yeah. You know, anyone who would want who wants that information from me, you can always um, – Get in touch. You know, I you know I I know I can find Charlotte on 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 Facebook. But anyone who who might be listening in that I don't know, you can you can go to um, psychictalk.net slash forward slash Sharona, and that will put you into uh, my email that I have at the radio station. And you know, I'll be happy to um, share any resources. Uh, like that so I'll you know I'll make sure that I I get you that one because that has you know it's so fun today to be part of fun groups and um, as I said I have people listening in now to my show that are in London that I met on the internet I've never met I've never met these people (laughs) yeah they're way over in London and they're and they're like going oh I like your show and it's like oh my goodness yeah uh, yeah yeah, and so when we can travel doing, again. <laughs> yeah, the person doing this abundance thing is from Ireland, so yeah, over in the UK. But, yeah, yeah, the uh, yeah, a lot of cool people there. The internet yeah. brings us all closer, doesn't it? Yep, that you sure does. Up, that was a great invention. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the internet's great. I mean, the whole. The, the, the you know the the whole thing that you have to be you know you want to find your group you know people that raise your vibration you know yeah. you know if, if you're in a group where it brings your vibration down you know that um that that's not as empowering but you can really be empowered by high vibrational groups that's for sure yeah. yes absolutely absolutely so yeah. Well, Talking to you today. Good talking with you as usual. I look forward to your shows every other week. Well, I'll be back in two weeks. I'll be back in two weeks. And um, 
Yeah, I'm just looking at the time, and it is that time when I need to start wrapping things up. So uh, thanks for calling in, Charlotte, and everyone. I'm going to put Charlotte, I'm going to put you back in the, so you can listen in. And as I said, the, the time, it just goes like crazy. Even though I call upon Archangel Metatron uh, when I need a little extra time, if I'm running late or whatever, uh, Archangel Metatron is saying to me, it's time to start to wrap everything up. So for all of you, um, I want to let you know that in two weeks, Sunday, November 8th, and that's 11 a.m. Pacific Time, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 7 p.m. if you're in the U.K. Uh, the great thing about this radio show, you just if, that's not, if you're not in those places, then you can just go in and it'll give you the time for wherever you are. Um, and so I'll be back on uh, November 8th. And once again, everyone's saying, please do a show like I did today, open lines and mini readings, because they all want to talk about what's going to happen, uh, you know, with the upcoming election. Okay, so for everyone, uh, this is your magic mama, uh, Sharona Rapsick, and I want to thank each and every one of you. My listeners, my lovelies, uh, for joining me today. And um, I, the thought that I want to leave you with um, is, let me just take a sip of water, is the word imagine, okay? Um, imagine that word. It's part of Magic 101, okay? So... If you want to create or change something in your life or in the world, you use your imagination and simply focus on what you want to see, okay? And that's because everything is energy, okay? You want to, you want to raise your vibes. You want to um, know that everything is energy, the universe and the source of everything, and you and I are energy. And we talked a lot about angels and guides, so I want to encourage you to talk and listen to your angels and your spirit guides that are all surrounding you. And remember, focus on what is positive in your life, and you will attract even more positive situations because we live in a magic universe. So keep your energy and your vibrations high. And most importantly, I invite you to step into your power and awaken your magic. And until we meet again on Sunday, November 8th, I am wishing each and every one of you countless blessings, and high vibes, and I love you all. Bye-bye, everyone. Love you.